Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies Bangalore, the BricsCAD sales and support point for India. In this BricsCAD video, I'm going to show you how you can work with layouts and viewports and change the properties of layers like color, visibility state and so on on a per viewport basis. So you can see that I have taken a sample drawing which contains some contours. It has got these layers as well. So I'm going to go into the paper space or layout and I'm going to show you how you can set the properties on a per viewport basis. So for this purpose, I'm going to delete the existing viewport here. I'm going to set the size of this layout as A1 which is 841 by 594. And I'll take landscape as my orientation. So I have my paper ready here. I'm going to insert a title block just to give it a, a sense of completeness. So that is A1 size title block. I'm going to fix it somewhere here near the lower left corner. So now I'm going to open or create two model space viewports. So this is my first viewport. And again using MView, I create the second viewport. So you can see that both these viewports have the identical content from the model space. If you click on any of these viewports, you can make it current and you can know that by this black line which is around it. When you make it current, you also automatically go into the model space within that viewport. So while this viewport is current, I'm now going to the drawing explorer, go to layer and you can see the layer settings for this viewport. The first few columns are the regular layer settings that you already know. But if you scroll to the right, you can see that there are a number of new columns with a VP next to it. So VP freeze, new VP, VP color, VP line type, line weight transparency, plot style and so on. So these are where you set the properties on a per viewport basis. And since we clicked on this viewport, so whatever applies here is going to be applicable only for this viewport. Say for example, I want to change the visibility of some of the viewports. I want to freeze some of the viewports in this view. So what I'm going to do is, for example, the contour layer, CV Cont, I want to freeze it. So I'm going to click on freeze. CV HVYL also I want to freeze and CVD Cant also I will freeze. So these three are the contour layers which I have frozen in this viewport. Next, for example, I want to change the color of all layers to blue. So I'm going to select all the layer and I'm going to VP color. Just click on any one here click blue. So you can see all of these have turned blue. So what I have done now is I have changed the color to blue and I have switched off or frozen three of the contour layers. So let's exit from here. You can see that in this viewport it's as defined or the default parameters while in this viewport the contour layers have been switched off and all the other layers have been turned blue. So this is how you control the visibility of layers on a per viewport basis. Now if you come to model space, you can see that nothing has changed here. Whatever changes you made now were only related to the particular viewport in the layout space. So with this, you can have multiple layouts, multiple viewports and you can also have the ability to specify the properties of each viewport separately. So I have shown you only freeze option and color option, but you can also change plot style, line type, line weight and transparency for each of the different viewports. Thank you and I hope you liked watching this video. Do let me know if you have any questions.